Hey, I just wanted to share with you guys my new system I've been using this year for my glazes and glaze distribution. So especially during these COVID times, this has been super helpful. Um, normally I have tables in my room where I just put, you know, a, a set of colors at each table and the kids can use them. Or I put like one color at each table and then the students can move around the room depending on what color glazes they need for their clay projects. So this is my new system for it this year since I don't have tables, I have desks in my room this year and they're all working individually but I have been liking it so much that I might just keep doing this system whenever I have tables back again. So let me show you how I've been doing it. So, so here is my setup. I'm beginning to get this ready for second grade today. They're gonna be glazing their clay koi fish that they made. And this is my underglaze that fifth graders have been using. It looks like a hot mess right now, but it has been a super easy system for them to use. I have a menu where I have cut out the little pictures from the like the catalog they give you when you when you buy the glazes. And I glued on the different sample colors, little tiles of the colors that I have with the names on them to help me too. And then I numbered them and then I laminated it so I can use it year after year after year. And if it gets something on it, I just wipe it away. They're all numbered. And then the cups are numbered on these. These are little cups. I think they are only one ounce. And they're little condiment cups that I got on Amazon. I can put a link below for you guys if you want these. I definitely need to buy some more because these have become a lifesaver this year with lids on them and little cups for, I've used them for glaze, I use them for liquid watercolors, for temper paint for my younger kids, and they just pick the one that they need at a time, um, take it back to their seat, and when they're done with it, they put it back in this box or on the counter. So here I have my gloss glazes that I'm getting ready to get for my second graders. I have put, I went through my very <laughs> disorganized cabinet here. I have uh, velvet underglaze on one side and I have gloss glazes on the other side. I went through and I picked out the colors that I want them to use today, but I went ahead and put all the colors that I have on this menu today. So I'm not gonna have all these colors available to them because depending on the project, you might not want all of the colors available. So I have just some cups for certain colors and I will put them into these little cups, put a lid on it and number it according to the number that's on this menu. So when they come up here, they look at the menu, they decide what they want. And I have explained, I explained to my fifth graders for this project that it's divided in halves. So this is what it's gonna look like if it's not glossy and this is, gonna, is going to be what it looks like if it is glossy later on. And then they will look for the number that they have or that they want on the menu, look for the number, take it with them, go back to their seat, use it, put it back on the counter when they're done and they get to take another one. So I only let them have one at a time. Not only do I have the little cups labeled, like I have, this one has a number one on the lid. I also have the jar of glaze in the cabinet. I have written a number one on it. I used to just have the name of the glaze on it and then the little sample picture on it. So I knew from looking on the top. Now I can just look in my cabinet and I can look at the numbers and it's really easy to pick which number because they find it really easy to just come up and tell me which number that they want rather than the name of the color. And some of the colors, you know, they get a crazy name sometimes. I know you might be thinking like, well, during this pandemic, like they're all touching things. My school, we are good with hand sanitizer a lot. So I tell them they can get hand sanitizer whenever they want. At the end of art class, we're definitely all getting hand sanitizer because you might be touching something that somebody else has already touched. So hand sanitizer at the end of class to help with that. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and fill these cups up with the different colors that I want for this project right now. All right, 
so here's my finished task. I have five cups of each color that I want them to have choices of today. I know this is irritating me too. That's not in rainbow order. I don't know why I did that. But it is on the paper, so it will be when the kids see it. Um, I think I'm going to set it up like this, only facing them, so that when they come up, they can kind of line up. All right, I want this color. I take this cup. I want this color. I take this cup. This color, take this cup. And then I also have black and white. Um, I'm going to have to explain to them that this is what the menu is great for. Even though this glaze looks pink right now after it goes into the kiln it's going to look like that dark blue and this one is actually going to look dark purple so i've also done this technique of distributing stuff with liquid watercolors this year both for second grade and fourth grade so second grade i had different kinds of greens and then since liquid watercolors are hard to tell what it's going to look like on paper i had it on a little sample paper and I had them numbered and then I had the cups numbered so they knew which color they were grabbing. And then for my liquid watercolors, I have a menu just like this where I have painted each color and it's numbered. Actually, it has the name of the color on it. It doesn't have numbers, but they can come up and I actually pour them into the little cups themselves. So for my fourth graders, they didn't need like all the colors out, there were so many. So they just came up, told me what color they wanted, and then I gave it to them and they brought it back when they needed a new color. So another great thing about these little cups is if I want to, I can wash them out and reuse them. They're durable, but also if they get really bad and yucky and I don't wanna wash them out and they're for just falling apart, I can just toss them and buy some new ones. So I hope that this has helped you get an idea for maybe a new way to distribute paints or clay glazes for your students. It has really worked out well for me so far and I think the younger kids are gonna be able to do it too. I even had kindergarten coming up and getting little cups of paint. I didn't have a menu for them because the paint they were using was exactly the color that it was, but they use these cups. They use one at a time, brought it back and it, it just works, so. I think I might be using this in non-COVID times as well. If you try it out, let me know how it goes. Or if you have any other great ideas like this, I'd love to hear them. Bye.